Hills Northwest to world famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. Tonight we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the Atlanta Falcons and the Miami Dolphins. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. CD, you look at the Dolphins in our ball game here. Charles, it has not been a season to remember for them as far as rushing the football goes. They've really struggled. And now they face the ultimate test. Today they go up against the number one rush defense. So it leads me to ask the question, do you even try to run the football in this game? Do you think it's even worthy of your time? I think that you do just enough to try and keep their attention, but I'm throwing it, throwing it, throwing it, and throwing it some more in this one. And we're underway on EA Sports. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. Leading them out from Texas A&M at quarterback Kellen Mond. His ability to adjust on the fly is almost unmatched in the game right now because it leads to a couple of snaps per game where you just sit back and ask yourself, how did he pull that off? Opponents can practice and prepare each and every week. Mond to the air on first and ten. Open man is Kyle Pitts, his tight end. This will be stopped about two yards. They really played well a week ago in that win over the Jets. I have to admit, I was extremely impressed by what I saw on tape because they stayed in the face of the quarterback the entire game, ended up getting four sacks total, and made it difficult for him to step up and find the play, but they remain a few inches short here with third down looming. Ready? They'll try and run forward with counter. This defense not budging. Back-to-back -back carries of just two yards. This defense is... A 40-yard punt, no return, and it'll be Dolphin football. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they will be let out by their second-year quarterback. And it felt like in watching the game tape, he got everyone involved last week. He know? was a manager. He really was. That's a great way to put it because they ran the ball some, they're doing that, but he didn't throw any interceptions. That's the bottom line. That's why a defense loves a quarterback like that. Doesn't put them in bad situations. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. Arnold Ebikini has now recorded 10 sacks on the season. Well, the very first thing they told us, Charles, was we need to apply pressure early. And I would call that early pride of the head coach on the headset with the offensive coordinator, asking him if that's exactly what he saw in his mind when he called that play. And if so, is it going to be like this all day? That's a tough one right there. And they won't fare much better here. Back to throw here. This one to the sideline. He's got it. A nice job to keep the feet in, but he is a bit short here. To see the Falcons offense. And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December yeah, left. Football. That we're only in November. Uh, but they would be a wild card team. And that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up the third and nine looming. They'll come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. Here's Mon. Got a man. It's Patterson complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Ten yards there and a first down for the Falcons. I like the play design there. They occupied the defense downfield. Everyone trying to account for someone. But unfortunately, they didn't account for the running back slipping out of the back backfield. And he was absolutely unnoticed and wound up getting big yards on that play. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Connor up the middle. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. The linebacker 
in his face before he had a chance to do much of anything. Yeah, I think it's big boys up front, that offensive line. They've got to do a little bit better job of protecting him if they're going to continue to run the option like this. And they're going to get this up to midfield. And they'll use him out in the backfield and sometimes quite a bit. They're just trying to get him touches any way they can. Four catches a week ago, there's another one right there. Carry of the game for Cordero Patterson. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. 15 yards, first down Atlanta. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long playing off of each other or controlling the defensive front linebackers. You're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. On first and ten is Connor. They find some open field here. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. The first drive this unit had, they punted. This drive much more powerful. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Buried behind the line by Christian Wilkins. And it's never going to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. But you take a big sack. On this drive, they'll try to make amends on second and 15. Another try after the first down sack. Mond throwing, completing, quick to Calvin Ridley. They get a left. manageable situation. One that they have a much better chance of picking up. Mond going to throw it. Got his man. It's London. And the Falcons are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Maybe that come in from the offense. Countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. And a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Excellent recognition to throw. And it's caught. A gain of five, but not enough. Leads to a fourth and goal. I thought maybe when he caught, he'd have a good chance of getting that first down, but that's a nice job of holding him up and preventing him from getting to the sticks. Let's go. Fourth down, Mod. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Kellen Mod, his 17th touchdown now on the season. And the Falcons' decision to go for it pays off with six points. The defense was almost too tough to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good and looking to be a threat come January. And are you one of those early holiday shoppers, partner? Are you one of those guys get your list done? Because make the playoffs. Number two, win your division. Number three, and I think the biggest goal of all, try to get the number one seed so you get that first round bye and ensure you don't have to go anywhere in January and hopefully get to the Super Bowl January and hopefully get to the Super Bowl that way. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them sick and let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And that will be incomplete. They couldn't hook up on what's going to be the final play of the... Thank you. 
They're going to start to drive here on the ground with Patterson. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. He's to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. On second down, Connor looking for space. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. 40 yards rushing for him now, and he's only carried the ball four times. Give every member of that unit a ton of credit for ripping off such a big gain there because you don't get free for that many yards. On first and 10, here's Mon. He's got his pass catching tight end. That's Pitts. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there. The chains, really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. They run behind center with Connor. And this will be a Falcons first down as good running gets him to about the 44. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. A pair of first downs gives him a first and ten up at the 44. They stay on the ground. Here's Connor again. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple in that run. He'll get a couple and that's it. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. And that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Over the middle, he gets it to Patterson. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Second down. From the gun, a give to Connor. And he'll get this down close to a first down at about the Dolphins' 38. In the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. And he is going to have a Falcons' first down. At least it appears that way. Completion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. From the gun, here's Mon. He'll buy some time right. A bullet throw, but incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away open target. The coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Koo knocks this one through the post, and that will extend. They come up first and ten. They'll look to throw. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. He'll look to throw. Tyreek Hill's got another one. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. A strong eight. I'm third and five, third and six, third and seven or more. Because that's how you end up not converting. Just too much yardage to pick up on third down. On second down, Swift. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. Yards there down to the 17. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. Arnold Ebikati, his second sack of the night. Now Lutz for the field goal try. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. 10-0, our score. Wait, wait.
On now the Miami field goal unit. This from 42 yards out. The kick by Lutz is good. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal here. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend on. It is to have a kicker you can depend on. as well and kudos to you you didn't jinx it take it in at the three now a crease here as he's past the 30 and he's going to be out of bounds across the 50 great return there again is the running back as he trots onto the field and it may just be the second quarter but he's we're witnessing right Ready? now right. his name's going to be in the books but it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that means line. he's getting plenty of blocking, a lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Yeah, he's made the most of it to this point. Room here to run! And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, 22. And that's not a play that you see all that often at the start of a drive, but some teams, they don't mind doing it. And that one, well at the start of a drive, but some teams, they don't mind doing it. And that one, well sold by the offensive linemen. They showed the pass, and then they got out into space, able to get some good blocks downfield and allow the play to be successful. Mod looks to throw on first down. And he'll complete this one to Patterson. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in the 15-yard line. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Here we go. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Throw left side here, hauled in by the tight end, Ferkser. And out of bounds, all the way down at the three. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first, first and goal. They'll look to throw again. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Connor. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line. He'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Only a yard of the completion. It's second and goal. There it is. The defense waking up after three plays that hurt them. Finally, they stand up. They have a little pride, too. And he will take it in for a Falcon touchdown. Tyler Algier, his first touchdown on the year. And the Falcons will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. Back to throw now on first down. Pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. It's a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. They'll throw now on the final play. Shot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. Lean on it a little bit more in the third and fourth quarters. Meanwhile, for the Dolphins, there's a look at what they were able to do throwing the football. And they'll need to get things in gear as they trail here at the break. Both teams likely making their fight. Interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side. Game worked in that situation. You have to continue to go in that direction. They'll look to throw now on first down. Throw right side. Going to be caught here by Waddle. And they're going to work this down to about... The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes. And that's going to be a first down. Well done. Not at halftime, whatever it was, it worked. They look like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't and figured out a better game plan. And he'll be stopped up. That is caught inside the five. Touchdown! Mike Gesicki, a 
15-yard touchdown grab. And the big, a very mature play for the second-year quarterback. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. So we get set to start this third quarter. Here's the Falcons offense now. And maybe some renewed pressure on the momentum change. Because otherwise, that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. 68 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. That's a really nice job by them picking up. So they didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. On third down, it's Connor. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Easy pick up because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Mons throw into the hands of Pitts here. So just three yards and backwards a yard. And in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Mond out of the shotgun. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. But nowhere to throw it, decided to scramble, and a nice job, CD. Got the yardage that he needed. Yeah, and his teammates are certainly going to appreciate that effort, even if because they would have wanted him to slide and protect himself. But he chose team gain over personal protection. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. And he'll decide to keep this once more. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. 11 more on that one and another first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now. And there's nowadays, they run like backs. And they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 27-yard line. It's a game backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight from the 21 to the 19. If they're going to get a first down out of this, they're going to have to earn it because there's been tough going in the interior there. And here we are on third and one. Be prepared. Brace yourself. Going to be some contact going on. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. It goes as a gain of eight that moves the chains. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself. He's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's the perfect word for it, precise, because if you're at 70% or better, Ramon fumbles it, and this is picked up by the Dolphins. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Play action. They'll throw. He is going to find Hill here. And he is going to have the. Again, he'll drop to throw. He'll get it once more into the hands of Hill. And he'll go down, and that will do it for here as we get set for the fourth. From the gun, here's Swift. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Now a stop it almost to the 35-yard line. 44 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. They brought him in off the corner, and he gets in to drop him for a loss of four. A CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much. And yeah, that's going to set up a tough third and nine. Back to throw. And he wisely will throw that one away. Well, how about the dive defense? Blanket in the field with extra defensive backs and speed. Unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. 
The kick by Lutz is good. And that will cut this lead back down to four now. It's 17. Tone for it here on this drive. A second down throw now for Mullen. Got a man. It's Patterson complete. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Ten yards there and a first down for the Falcons. Two yards the gain on the keeper and it's second down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. If anyone playing the linebacker position and overcommit, he cuts up inside. And that's what we saw there. A nice pickup for a first down. First and ten, it's Patterson. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Mon looks to throw. Gets this to Ferkser, the tight end. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside. The... On the handoff, Connor. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. That's the football. Gain some yardage and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Emmanuel Agba. And defense, a really nice opportunity. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. And get this into the hands of Hill complete. And they take this up near the 30 before he's taken down. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And he'll just get rid of it. Not only equally good. The offense on third down tonight, they've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and four. Back to throw again. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. Right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs. And the goal? End the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. Finding Kyle Pitts running the slam. Hey, I'm going to keep firing. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Nine yards that time. This is Connor, and not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Now Mon. And he'll complete this one to Patterson. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout. On fourth down, Mon. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their... Tell me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. So time runs out. It's a victory for the Atlanta Falcons. And it was a bit of a strange game. They were held scoreless through the entire second half, but their first half output... That's enough to carry them to victory. And that's an odd game to watch, isn't it? Because when we saw the output in the first half, you think to yourself, okay, they've got something working here. They know what they're doing. They'll continue that along.